Uh, just a few more, few more words I want to add to all this, okay. In respect to Russia, Russia is like this. Russia did not only use me like this uh, to get here to the people. Uh, they went beyond that stuff. They went beyond that stuff. Um, and what's interesting is a logic on how they do this stuff. That's what's interesting. Uh, the case, the MK Ultra case, how this MK Ultra case was presented to me to see is how I was presented to the people. It's very important to understand that. To the Muslim people, I was presented as a racist, a neo Nazi, a fascist. Uh, to the women, uh, I was used so they could be raped. Me, myself, I was tortured by the psychiatry in Slovenia for no less than five years because I was a neo-Nazi, because I was a fascist. Then I was inserted back into the MKUltra element in Poland with the same people who participated in MKUltra, people who were brainwashed just how bad I am and so on and so forth. And what is it I was conditioned with under MKUltra? Under MKUltra, Russians insisted on what these Muslims are going to do to me, what they are going to do to me, this and that, what is going to be with me, how I'm going to be hijacked by them, taken away from here, if I am not going to acknowledge that I am European, that I am a Christian, that... Basically, they wanted to open conflict after conflict after conflict after conflict with them. So they have worked both sides. It's not that I'm defending these people here, because I got a lot to say about them, but the way they have structured this thing, and especially how they wanted me to see the pursue, the timing, they had completely divided the whole MK Ultra on with idea about everything, including aggression on Ukraine, how I'm going to be used as a neo-Nazi, as somebody who promotes a neo-Nazism, and how that's going to be used to take over Ukraine. At this point in time, however, the whole world, with a Trump, with a Merkel Germany, everything is going to change around the world, including the Russia, and it's going to be this great white cost that will go on. And so if I'm not going to change with the timing and I would somehow uh, take attitude of the normal human being, then in that case, this was so violent. Russia is empire of evil on international and domestic level. More than 20 million Russians are suffering from hunger issues. They are deprived of the food. They are deprived, greatly deprived of normal life. And how this stuff was uh, explained to me, you would be either hijacked to the Israel or to a Muslim Arab country, something like this, if you would not adopt a neo-Nazi views. And we go back to what's happening in Kremlin, and I did explain this in part number two. Think about what's happening in the Kremlin. Think about what they're using this stuff. Think about what not only was done to this woman here, if they would just like me the way I look, not my views. And think about what was done to me in Slovenia because I was bad neo-Nazi. And think about what they have threatened under MK Ultra. It would happen to me if not, if I would not become a neo-Nazi. So it was, it was this great Russian bullshit that drove the whole world insane was anticipated to happen yet again that I would see their violent way, no matter what, the way they would want. So they would want to, again, rehabilitate me. And they did so through the Polish state. That's why I'm saying that Polish state of Warsaw is nothing more than extension of what used to be a Soviet Union. What we have here in Poland, Kaczynskis and stuff like this, these are a Russian, pro-Russian, pro-Soviet apparatchik is what they are. Now, I was told all kinds of scenarios. How I am going to spend on homeless in the winter time. It's going to be over there in Warsaw. I'm going to be begging for the money. I'm going to be thrown out of the immigration system. Uh, I had some C vitamins here. They were already placed here to me on, uh, on the plate. 
Uh, this also I was taught under MK Ultra that means that you're going to be uh, rated as a sick man and so on. Well, all I want to say is that, all I want to say is that, look, all I want to say is that already in, look, already in, in, I got to go inside in here. I'm sure you don't understand any of this stuff, but I don't want somebody to say that I'm audio recording anybody or something like this. Look, in Norway, in Norway, where I requested for political asylum, that was in year 2010. In Austria, but especially in Norway, uh, psychologist Helen Berkson, hello, how are you? It was, when I would walk the streets, it was like this. <coughs> Everywhere I would go. <coughs> it's called a gang stalking. It's called... Uh, really big time stalking uh, and this stuff happened the same to, on other locations but not in that way i'm just I remind myself because they started here too the same thing it doesn't it doesn't make a difference to me Shit, not even a little bit think about the stuff i have talked about in part number two it doesn't make no difference to me if in front of me you can do anything you want you can call me sick you can call me mentally sick that's completely okay. You can call me fucking crazy. You can do anything you want to do as long as you're not, you cannot prove stated. And for that matter, uh, nothing in this world exists. Anything in this world would suggest that anything would be wrong with me in any way. Not in, in an ethical way, not in a criminal way, not in, a, uh, not in some kind of mental dysfunction way or anything like this. So I'm very self-secured, very self-assured person. Nothing really bothers me. The only thing that would bother me, it would be, you know, that I would take the side of some kind of evil, uh, really satanic uh, state over there uh, known as Russia, uh, Kremlin. This isn't against the Russian people. Russian people, beautiful people. I was in Belarus. I love Russian people. Uh, I was very much accepted. Uh, people like me and so on. I like them. I like it. Uh, but I'd be effing them if I would take the side of the evil like this once again. This is just not going to happen. Uh, Macron, Merkel, scum, they all participated in this stuff. They, they threatened that if I would not see this, if I would not see their way and this and that, uh, that this is where the world is going to turn. This is the direction the world is going to go to. If I would not see their way, I, you will be gone. You will go, you will go, you will go. You have no idea how these Netanyahu's, these Macron's, these Merkel's, how they support authoritarian criminals like Donald Trump and Putin. Uh, these people alone have driven France, Germany, uh, United States of America insane so that Russia somehow could look sane. Parallel to this shit, I was driven insane too. So we would have the evil like Putin Putanovich, Vladimir Putin, walk on a political stage. This guy is a pure evil. There's not even 0.1% of anything other than evil inside of him. And so they need this kind of stuff. They needed me. They needed, they needed other politicians to drive the whole world fucking crazy so this guy could go on with his evil plan and so they could go on also with their plans and so on that's the part number three thanks for watching this video now really take care of yourself whatever you are and bye bye from Grotniki near Lodz, second biggest city in Poland bye bye